In DaVinci Resolve 19, there are some things that just got tweaked a little bit, and this is one of them. When you're syncing up your video and your audio, let's jump in Resolve. I want to show you what I'm talking about. In DaVinci Resolve here, I've got my video clip right here, and I have my audio track from my good microphone, which is up over here. In order to sync them up, we can always select both of them. I'm going to right click and we're going to come down to sync audio. And now we have a different looking window here. We have waveform and time code. And in general, I'm going to use waveform because I don't deal with time codes. So I'm going to select waveform. You can select what channel number you want to use. So this is the built in channel that's in my video track, right? Do I want to use channel one, channel two? Do I want it to mix together or do I want to do it automatic? Generally, I've been leaving it on one and that seems to work out fine. But if you're having trouble syncing, you can try one of these other options. Then down here, we have retain embedded audio. Now, if you leave this turned off, the original audio is still going to be part of your clip. But once you bring this synced clip into the timeline, it's only going to show your new synced up audio. Whereas if you were to select retain embedded audio, and I go ahead and I sync up this good audio with that video clip. When I bring the video clip into the timeline, we're going to see both our original audio as well as another track that shows our good audio. So let me just show you what that looks like. So if I turn this off, I'm going to say retain embedded audio. I'm going to sync. Resolve is going to go ahead and sync it up for me. So now if I zoom out of my timeline and I just come down, I bring in my video clip. When I drop it in my timeline right now, we have my video portion as well as my good audio, which is going to take a second to render up for us. And there we go. We have our waveforms in there. Now I only have my good audio showing right here in the timeline. So now let me redo that and show you what it looks like if you use the other option. So again, I'm going to come back to my timeline. I'm going to select both my audio and my video clips, right click and come down to auto sync audio. Now in here again, I'm going to use waveform channel one, and I'm going to choose retain embedded audio this time. Go ahead and click sync. So now when I take that same video clip and I drop it in my timeline, you're going to notice we have two audio tracks that come in. So one is the original audio and one is our good audio that we synced up with that clip. Now you may need both tracks sometimes, but in general, I'm not going to select this option where both tracks come down into the timeline when I bring in my clip because it's a little redundant and that's why I've got my good audio, right? I record the good audio so I can get rid of the scratch audio that is recorded in the camera. And just so you guys know, a little bonus tip here is you never actually lose the audio that was recorded in your camera. So that scratch audio, it's still there inside the clip. So if I were to sync up my audio clip without retaining the embedded audio, which is always there anyway, it's kind of confusing on how they worded that. But if I drop that clip into the timeline, I'm only going to see my good audio right here. However, if I right click on it, either right here or in the media pool, doesn't matter where, and you come down to clip attributes right here, you open up the clip attributes for that particular clip. And under the audio section here, we've got source channel. And right now, if I click the drop down, you can see we have mute embedded one, embedded two, linked one and linked two. So the linked audio is my good audio that's synced to my MKE 600 up here. And the embedded audio is the audio that was recorded in the camera itself. So it's kind of confusing that they say, you know, retain uh, embedded audio versus not. It sounds like you're getting rid of it, but you're actually not. You're good. Don't worry about it. Your audio is always there. You can just open up your clip attributes like we've always been able to do and use either set of audio that you might want to use. So that is just one of the many little things that got a little tweak here that didn't get the big public announcement of changes that were uh, you know announced with Resolve 19 beta. But I'm going to be going through and as I find these things and figure out what they are, I'm going to be bringing them to you guys because it's always good to know how things tweak and change a little bit. For example, I did notice that the uh, timeline view options menu changed a little bit. Did you catch that one? Looks a little different. Not bad, just different. One of those things that we'll have to get used to here with uh, all the updates that come in DaVinci Resolve 19. Remember, it's still currently in beta, so if you're in the middle of a project, you might want to hold off on it. All right, guys, with that said, I'm getting back into 19 beta here. So much good stuff. It's ridiculous. A lot of the audio stuff, ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous good. So I'm going to get back, edit up this video on the Remix tool for you guys, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.